In this video, we're going to export our building as a safety PDF. So you can see here I'm in the mapped in editor and I've completely finished mapping my floors. Uh, this is something you're going to want to do at the very, very end of your mapping process once everything is absolutely finished. Um, and you can see here I've got a four floor building. So if I want a safety PDF, all I have to do is go up to this download icon here and choose download safety PDF. Once it's finished exporting, I can open it up. And you'll see here that uh, the first page of the PDF is going to be my ground floor situated on the outdoors. And so that's so first responders can get uh, an idea of where the building is on an outdoor map. Every page after that is just going to be uh, the different levels. So you can see here is level one, level two, level three, level four. Um, and creating a good safety PDF really requires knowledge of all the different features and tools in our mapped in editor. But I'll give you a quick tour. Um, so you can see here we've got the level in the top right. We've got the name of our building, the address, and when it was created. In this panel here, we've got a legend of all of the safety annotations that we've placed on it, um, which you can see how to do that in another video. Um, you've also got a bunch of different information shown on the PDF here. So all of the entrances are shown, the labels for all the different rooms. Um, you can see when there's an entrance that comes from the exterior. So it's, it's very clear when you have an outdoor entrance. Um, and one really important thing to note is when you place connections on your map, they're going to fill the room that they're surrounded by. So if you don't enclose the connections, for example, this one here could fill the entire hallway and this will all be green. So you need to make sure that um, in the editor, like for example here, I have a stairway, but it's inside of this room. Uh, I have an elevator, but it's inside of this room. So you just need to make sure that all of your connections are, are contained by walls. Um, and then they'll look like this on the map rather than filling the entire space that they're in. Um, you'll notice here that I have different space types applied. So um, the hallway is shown in this beige color. The voids have a, a void pattern on them. So it's very easy to tell what, um, what different space types you have on the map. I explained this in another video, but essentially all you need to do is um, click on a room and then go up to the drop down menu and change its space type to either hallway or open to below. And then you'll get the formatting that you see here. You can also see on the map that we have windows being shown. So if you've placed windows on your building, they're all shown here as well. And there you go. That's everything you need to know about creating a safety PDF.